So what's up guys, Fabri here and welcome to Shades of Tech. Today I want to share with you my new 4K OLED TV setup with some heavy cable management. I really hope you will like it. It all started with my old TV setup. I really loved it and I used it so much. But it was time for a change. And this is how it happened. In this video I will mention a lot of stuff and I'll try to insert all the links in the description so in any moment feel free to check them out. The model I chose was the LG OLED 55 C7B. It's 4K, it's HDR, it supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. It has wonderful colors, deep blacks and if you ask me, an amazing look with really thin bezels. Of course, my final decision was to hang it on the wall and I made it a separate video all about this ultra slim wall mounted system. The result is pretty dope. Anyway, the first thing I did was to prepare the television for the hanging. I cleaned it up because the white black is really a dust magnet. I screwed the mounting brackets and hooked up all the Ethernet, the digital audio, the HDMI 2.0 cables using the cable manager included, which was really useful by the way to organize all the cables in the same place. Then I added some IKEA RGB LED strips because I always loved the color changing LEDs behind the TV and it's really a must for me. In the new office I will probably change them with Philips Hue LED strips which I'm testing right now by the way. To keep them in place I used hot glue instead of adhesive tape because I had bad experiences with that in the past. The hot glue is fast, keeps the grip for a long time but it's not invasive and if you want you can remove it easily. This was the most delicate part and once everything was tested in place I mounted the TV on the wall. It already looked great but as you can see all the cable management and peripherals were a nightmare. So I decided to go further. I removed everything and cleaned it up for a fresh start. In this process I used the IKEA kit for cable management because I really liked the organized box and because you have every type of thing you could possibly need. Then I tightened up all the cables coming from the TV because I need the room to work. The first thing I decided to do was to complete all the soundbar mounting. Like I said in other videos, I still haven't decided if I prefer the Dolby Atmos integrated in the TV or the Sony 2.1 soundbar with subwoofer. So I decided to keep them both until I will bring you a proper comparison test. In my new office that I'm working on right now, I will probably use a Dolby Surround 7.1 because in my opinion it works much better than both of them. Anyway, from the design point of view I wanted it just below the TV, as close as possible I could reach. The shape of the soundbar was a little bit tricky but in the end I managed to get it really close to the bottom of the TV. I also had to nail the horizontal alignment because it could be very visible. So I helped myself with level and ruler. Then with the drill I made the holes for the supports and with the vacuum cleaner I sucked all the dust for a clean work. Then I did the same alignment process for the furniture as well. I installed it below the TV using some heavy metal L-shaped pieces screwed directly into the wall. I had to do this because I wanted to have the floating look and not a simple laying on the floor system. Then I installed a small cable manager from IKEA as well. What I like about it is that it's really flat and thin, so cables can pass through and it won't protrude much. Besides, if you want, you can paint it with the same color of the wall to make it invisible. This helped me a lot to pass all the cables from the TV behind the soundbar straight to the furniture, covering the first part with the soundbar itself. I'm really happy with the final result. The TV and the soundbar are pretty much seamless and perfectly aligned. The furniture I used is again from IKEA, pretty much inexpensive and I really love the modern look of the hood and polished white with a matte glass. I used it to organize and store all the power cables, the remotes and so on and from the outside it gives a really neat look. Then I passed the cables to connect my PS4 and connected the subwoofer to the soundbar as well. 
I had many doubts about how to place the subwoofer because I wanted to have it the same floating look of the furniture so I found this trick that combines design to cable management. I used this wooden box to pose it and the perspective will hide it giving that floating look I was seeking but since the box is empty I was able to tight and hide all the exceeding cable. I'm really happy with this idea and I believe you could use it in many ways. Since I love colored LEDs as you probably understood at this point I decided to add some colors behind the PS4 with circle lights always from IKEA. The final touch was to use some phonosorbing material paper to create a profile and the contrast between the white of the PS4 and the black of the TV. The reasons were many. From an aesthetic point of view I really liked the geometry of the pyramids and then it helps me to hide all the cables in plain sight and gives all the setup a finished look. I cut it in the shape I needed and placed it. And this is the final result. So what do you think? In some months I will have to move this setup in a much larger space with a heavier cable management and cables in the walls. So tell me your ideas and improvements in the comment section and I could use some of them in the next videos. So thanks so much for watching, if you liked this video please give a very big like and as always I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!